It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Uh, I tend to mess up everything. I like a lot going on over here. You sure do. Know. Yeah, a lot of paper. Got like four different kinds you of got beverages. Got eighteen monitors. All these beverages. How many beverages you got over there today? How many cups you got going on? It's, over there? it's ridiculous. Um, I've got your um, Rebel Protein. I'm waiting for Anna Kendrick to come in and start <laughs> singing about those cups. Uh, <laughs> you know Neil Pert from Rush. He has all the drums all over the place. Sure. You're like Neil Rush with an anxiety <laughs> disorder with just all this stuff around you at arm's reach. Two different kinds of tea. Uh, yeah. very, very very. You reap what you sow. You know that. You you've made a mess over there. And you have to sit in it. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, Christy Lee, what have you got over there at the news desk? Researchers have found that COVID-19 could lead to a phenomenon called restless anal syndrome. Hmm. Really? According to a case report published in BMC Infectious Diseases. You don't want that. But no. monthly catalog. I guess. I don't know what BMC stands for. A 77-year-old man with COVID-19 regained normal respiratory function 21 days after being admitted to the hospital. Several weeks after he was discharged, though, the man began to experience, quote, restless deep anal discomfort. <laughs> the phenomenon Gosh. had the hallmarks of restless leg syndrome, but in the man's anus. So it's like uh, winking? <laughs> Can he not stop twerking? Is that what it is? Yeah. I mean, it would be... Twitching? Sort of twitching? Yeah, that's a good word. Shake it! Re researchers said this was the first reported case of restless anal syndrome. Doctor, my anus is gulping. <laughs> as a restless leg syndrome variant associated with COVID-19. How bizarre. Aren't there bizarre. some people who could take air through that and then... And then expel it. Expel yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, that the famous, what was it? Lepetamine. Yeah, that guy. What is that guy. called again? There's a something, there, there's a name for that. Fart tricks? Yeah, fart tricks. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. That's what it is. Lepetamine was A, and then it's... Yeah, there there's is, some... Yeah. Oh, a fartist, I believe it was. Oh. Yeah, no, there's some medical... Oh. But this thing, I mean, what a... I guess Horrible this, thing this, to this have. This might be motivating. Another reason you want to be COVID-free... Well, I was I wasn't going to get vaccinated until I heard about the restless anal thing, and then I thought, well, wait a minute, <laughs> I don't want to be that guy. Lepetamine was a flatulist. Oh, yeah. okay. flatulist. Well, that yeah. makes like that sounds then, like something he'd make up. In, per, almost... in parentheses, it says professional farter. Yes, <laughs> flatulist is just as silly as a fartist. And, then, and he would go on stage and do all these. Things. Yes, I'm sorry I missed that. But well, this is a real thing. A restless. Uh, they're calling it restless anal syndrome. Mm -hmm. But is it only one guy that's uh, suffering? Yeah, that's because of COVID-19. Apparently it is, it a, is a syndrome, thing. Okay. but... So is his a rear exit tossing and turning all night? I mean, <laughs> it sounds like it. <laughs> My ass was up all night. Yeah. <laughs> Salad tossing and turning. I told you, decaf. <laughs> <laughs> well, just one more kooky thing out there. Yeah. If you want to read about it, BMC Infectious Diseases Monthly. <laughs> That's the cover story. Boy. Okay. The COVID-19 pandemic has also caused a clown shortage in Northern Ireland. Is that right? <laughs> a clown shortage. I don't have a problem with that. According uh -huh. to David Duffy, co-owner of Duffy's Circus. Nothing sadder than seeing just one get out of a car. <laughs> <laughs> well, how many are... Oh. Come on, fellas. <laughs> Quote, there's a lot more to being a clown than just putting on a big red nose and a big... Baggy pair of pants. But baggy. Not really that you said much. baggy. <laughs> not really that much more. Though. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> a, <laughs> but not. <laughs> David Duffy is appealing for folks in Northern Ireland to become clowns. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, there's a short of, perf of performers and Perf many and performers. Performers. <laughs> French very fancy. As many returned to their home countries when their first lockdown came into force in early 2020. In order to be a clown, Mr. Duffy, or performs as Silly Tilly. Silly Tilly. You mm -hmm. have to be really, really adaptable and be able to think on your feet. And a pedophile. <laughs> no, that's not one of the Josh. requirements. Silly it just tilly. happens sometimes. Oh, yeah. You got to think on your feet. And those are some pretty big shoes to fill. They sure are. Yes. Yeah. No. The the pro this is this all has this is all about Brexit. Really? What? Yeah. How's How, Brexit wait a minute, affecting so, it? I, I mean, thought it was I'm about COVID nineteen. Because he loves doing this, finding an angle no one else has thought. Of. No, there's a shortage of performers. We and they were allowed. They they were stopped from performing because of COVID. Right. right. But then the EU reopened it. But because of Brexit, those clowns can't get back into Ireland. 
<laughs> Where'd they go? Northern Ireland. So they left, because they couldn't perform, they left Ireland. To go Northern to their Ireland. home to, countries. Yeah, to go where they could get work again. I Oh, I see. No, this really I is, see. I'm not kidding. This no, really, no, okay, this I got really you. This really is a Brexit thing. I got you. So, so they can't, can't get, get back. back. Yeah, so Northern Ireland has the shortage. Yeah. yeah that's, and so it, it really is kind of a big picture political thing. Mm -hmm. um, the best part about being a clown, of course, Christy, is, is you know, uh, getting seltzer in your pants. <laughs> you ever had that time? <laughs> No, I haven't. You ever had seltzer? I've, I've never even seen seltzer the way they in the like in the. Three oh, in one of those bottles. Right. That's they grab great. those bottles like yeah. it's like yeah. fire extinguishers. Yeah. Christy, you know what to do when you're attacked by a, a gang of clowns, right? No, what? You go for the jugular. <laughs> the jugular. Jug jugular. 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 Yeah, boy, I aced that one up. <laughs> Joke of the day. We talk about passwords a lot in this room and having to change them all the time. Oh, yeah. yeah. And HR contacted me and said I had to change mine. It had to be eight characters. I went with Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. That is oh, perfect. That's great. Yeah. That is so that's eight funny. Eight characters right there, Chicky. That's eight. Yep, that's eight, all right. That's what I got. Uh, uh, you know, my, that's how it's done. My favorite clown is a Northern Irish uh, clown. Oh, it is? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kooky Cassie Car Bomber. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Tom, you're upset with that one? <laughs> I gave you the... I gave it the... Uh, yeah, but you're frowning. <laughs> is Northern Ireland, is that Catholic or Lutheran? That's Catholic. Okay. Not thanks. Lutheran. It's Protestant. Yeah, but, oh, you're right. It's Protestant. Southern, Southern. I don't know. No, I don't know. It's the Catholics right. and the Protestants. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I, I guess the, the real question then is, uh, you mentioned that the only one came out of the car because of the clown shortage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, the other North, North, Northern Irish uh, clown that I really enjoy, Cindy Bloody Cindy. Oh. <laughs> That's just for Halloween she does that trick. Oh, oh I see. Oh. <laughs> hey, a statue of Humpty Dumpty sitting on a toilet has been stolen oh, from the Madison here, Art Fair in here, Wisconsin. Here we go. I assume it's entitled Humpty Dump. It, has it must be. If not, what are they doing? Mm -hmm. WMTV. Where you get news from a toilet. I want my WMTV. Nice. I want my... I'm killing it over here, folks. You are. <laughs> Reports that a fair vendor had briefly stepped away from her booth and returned to find the bronze statue missing. It's valued at $1,400 and features the character of Humpty Dumpty sitting on a toilet with book in hand, bare bands around its ankles, and his face contorted. All right, stop what you're doing. I'm sitting here a-pooing. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm telling you, oh, I, yeah. I need a bonus. <laughs> oh, you do no, you deserve okay. one. That, 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 that's what, the Humpty dance? Hum Humpty, yeah. Humpty, yeah. Hum Bum, what was that guy's name? Bum, bum, Hump, uh, I forget his real name. He just, pa he just passed away. Yeah, he did away. just pass just away. Pass away. Yeah. But uh, Digital Underground Humpty. Yeah, that's it, yeah. The yeah. vendor told investigators that two men had lingered around her stand while she was setting up. Surveillance footage released by authorities shows the pair leaving with the statue. <laughs> the Madison Police Department is asking for the public's help in identifying the subject. So, IBA fans, listen up. If you there, find there, this there's guy. a uh, yeah, real good picture of the guy's. Mm -hmm. With the uh, okay, yeah, but and here's a picture of the, the statue. How is it? Is it funny? It's very ugly. Um, yeah, it, as, as Christy described, um, oh, it is um, ugly. Uh, Mr. Dumpty is um, dumping, he's got a <laughs> uh, kind of a yeah, not enough fiber look on his face. Uh, oh, gotcha, he's really uh, mm. yeah, pushing yeah. one out. What's he need, Tom? Doesn't he need something, Tom? Uh, probably some Metamucil, there some psyllium husk, I uh, see, yeah. fiber I, supplements. Uh, I uh. I've always been a big fan of Humpty Dumpty. I don't know why when I was a why? kid. I just love that story, huh? I just did, yeah. I, I kinda always made me sad. Yeah. Guy falls and everybody, well, yeah. nothing we can do for you. Mm -hmm. Now, I never understood the expectation of the all the king's horses. Why would you look at the horses and go, will you fix this person? What, what are they going to do? Yeah, I'm a horse. King's horses are yeah. a scalpel. No joke. I mean, the horses and the king's men were Although they are made very of glue. valuable. <laughs> you could have said all the, all the king's doctors. That's a very good point. So, Christy, the horses are made of glue. Yeah. I, so, uh, I should have melted the horses down. <laughs> yeah. Dumpty Dumpty. That's right. Now, are we going to do our um, shoe-in picks? Is that coming up? I think so. I do not know. I do oh, not I, know I'll be better. I, I was going to say, uh, last week it was uh, Daryl Montgomery, right? I think. I think this week's winner is Alan Hatfield. Alan Hatfield is waiting for us on He's the, on the line. Okay. He's the, uh, the week three winner of the uh, Big Green Egg Mini Max because he played the Bob and Tom Pigskin Pick'em at bobandtom.com slash contest. Here he is now. Alan, you there? Yes, sir. How you guys doing? Well, Good. 
Now, are you related to the Hatfields and the Hatfield <laughs> McCoys? Uh? No, we uh, we looked into it. No, we're not related. We're on the other side of the Hatfield flame. Ah, okay. okay. Okay, just curious. Uh, now, uh, have you ever had any problems with someone named McCoy? <laughs> any, any, no, because they kind of stay away from me when they see I'm Hatfield. Oh, <laughs> sure, sure, they know better. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. Now, uh, Alan, how many games did you get right? Fifteen out of sixteen. Whoa, oh, nice. Hey. Very wow. nice. Zowie. And uh, now, was there a tiebreaker, or were you the only one that did that well? No, there was two other people that tied with me, and I had the closest point total. Okay, well, very right. good. That's how it works. And, and then I want to urge everyone to get involved this week yep. for week four. And uh, Chick, how do they do that again? BobandTom.com slash contest. You could win a big green egg Minimax. And uh, anybody can play. The details, once again, are at uh, BobandTom.com forward slash contest. But you got to get the entries for week four in before tonight's game. That's exactly right. Now, are you ready to go? Here we yes, go. Yes, sir. Do you, do you have a favorite team? Yes, the Packers. The oh, okay. Mm. Well, good luck to them. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, the uh, Minnesota Vikings this weekend hosting the Cleveland Browns. Uh, Minnesota, an underdog at home. They're getting two. Who do you like, Cleveland or Minnesota? No, Minnesota Minnesota's going to get Cleveland this week. No wow. kidding. All right. Okay. No kidding. I'm, I'm taking Cleveland on that one, Tom. Okay. Uh, Baltimore uh, travels to Denver to take on the uh, Broncos. No points either way in this one. Uh, it's a pick 'em. Who do you like, Denver or Baltimore? I'm going with Mr. Jackson. I think Denver, uh, Baltimore's going to win that game. No kidding. Uh, that's that's wrong as well. I'll take, <laughs> I'll take Denver in that pick 'em game at home, and the Los Angeles Rams host the Arizona Cardinals in a battle in the Western Time Zone. Uh, Rams, uh, Arizona getting five. Rams giving away a five at home. Who do you like, L.A. or Arizona? No, we like Arizona. I think they're all dogs this week. No kidding. Oh, you like yeah. the dogs. All right, I'm like taking the, the Rams minus the five, Tom. I think wow. Wow. everyone is a disagreement. I think Los Angeles <laughs> could be the uh, the best team in the NFL right Holy cow. Right they, now. They, they probably are the best team, mm -hmm. but after that win last week, they're going to come down off the high horse. Okay. All right. You know, uh, my mother was a McCoy. Anyway. <laughs> 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 also, uh, Tom, double shock at Cleveland Browns pick just because I know they're your team. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Now, do you want to double any of your bets, Alan? You feel especially good about any of those picks? I feel strong about all three of them picks. <laughs> You're going to yeah. double all of them. Okay, that's ballsy. <laughs> that <laughs> is, uh, Fortune that. favors the ball. That has <laughs> never happened on this I don't show. Think you uh, said that? <laughs> Oh, okay. Wow, that is uh, strong stuff. Yeah. Okay, well. Uh, now, y your favorite team is the Packers, you said? Yes, sir. Do you, do you own any of their jerseys? Yes, I own Rodgers. Oh, okay. And I own Ray Nitschke. Ray Nitschke is my favorite football player of all time. Oh, number uh, number 66, yeah. Number 66, That's yes, sir. That's right, yeah. Middle linebacker for the Packers back in the Lombardi era. Yeah. The root, bad, they called it. Bad boy. That's exactly right. Did, he was a bad man. Did he wear a face mask? Are we going back that yeah, far? Yeah, yeah, No, he had a face <laughs> mask. Yeah, he had a face mask on. <laughs> this is the 60s, Tom. <laughs> he was a leatherhead. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you like his philosophy, don't you? Nitschke? Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, Nietzsche? Nietzsche? Oh, no, yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he really on the field right now? <laughs> uh, who's your favorite uh, contemporary Packer? Contemporary Packer. I don't... I don't know if I have a favorite. Well, it's got to be. Packer. It's got to be. Uh, it's got to be Aaron Rodgers, right? I would think. Well, Aaron Rodgers has gone to way over to the deep end right now. I think. I. I don't know. With his long hair, he's he's got to the uh, <laughs> uh, praying a lot. And I think that's what he's doing. But he's still a hell of a football player. <laughs> yes, he's a very fine football. Player. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's he got all messed up with that uh, that Hollywood girl. Yeah. And he, he, he's he's in love. Hell of an he, arm, though. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, the Packers hosting the Steelers this week, Tom. That'll be interesting. Yeah. Well, Pittsburgh is uh, they're in a trouble. Tough times. Yeah. yeah, you got two aging quarterbacks, but one of them is still really, really, really good. Really, really aging. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Well, um, uh, Ray Nitschke, of course. Uh, 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 Frederick, is Frederick's brother. Oh, that's right. Who's <laughs> <It's> Frederick? <laughs> Frederick Nitschke. Nitschke. Oh, that's Nitschke. Nitschke. Oh, Nitschke. I'll tell you a little story about Ray Nitschke. What's oh, that? Okay, go ahead. I have a story about Ray Nitschke. Okay. Mm -hmm. We went to um, Lambeau, and we went to the Hall of Fame underneath Lambeau Stadium. Right. And each one of the stars have their own locker. Well, in Ray Nitschke's locker, there is a helmet. And it's got a little hole in it on the side. Hmm. 
And what happened was they used to have that scaffolding where all the coaches and all would film up on top of the scaffolding. Well, the scaffolding fell on top of Ray Nitschke. Whoa! And one of the, and one of the boats on the end piece penetrated his helmet. So here comes Lombardi out and says, what the heck's going on out here? And he says, the scaffolding fell. He says, anybody underneath there? He says, yeah, it's Ray Nitschke. He said, that ain't going to hurt that hard head to some buck. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. amazing story. <laughs> and his helmet is in that glass case right now with a hole in it. I'll be darned. Wow. That's, huh. that's, well, that's cool. Well, our guest is Alan Hatfield. He's a week three winner of our very special Bob and Tom Pigskin Pick'em competition. You won yourself a big green egg mini max. So you'll be doing some uh, cooking outdoors with your uh, beautiful green egg. It's a great, great... It's like the, the Rolls Royce of, uh, of grilling. I think. Oh, yes. Well, Alan, congratulations. Let me ask you this. Do you um, spend a lot of time uh, in the uh, r world of uh, sports betting? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, I do. How are you doing? Not bad. Okay. Not bad. Is, is, is your... <laughs> Spoken like a winner. I'm, 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 I'm ahead of the game is what I'm trying That's to say. Right. There you go. And no. he said that in such a way I can tell he's a better, and he implied none of your business. <laughs> well, <laughs> what I don't is like your... talking about my betting either. I, get, I feel like I'm going to jinx it. <laughs> what, what is yeah. your best uh, sport, may I ask, when it comes to uh, to your gambling? Uh, it's football. Okay. okay. You, you seem to know pro, what you're doing. Pro football. Okay. Bro okay. football. Okay. Okay, good to know. Yeah, uh, don't bet on IU football like I did two weekends ago and lose 50 bucks. <laughs> yeah, you're, 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 College getting, is pretty tough. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, don't let your heart get into the game. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Well, thanks <laughs> Thanks so much for listening, and uh, best of luck uh, with all of your picks this week. And, again, no one has ever double-shocked all three of their picks on this show. <laughs> so you're holding them to them. Well, I might, I might be the first one. All yeah, right. Yeah. And and congratulations. If, if, if you win all three, we're going to have to call you back. That that's wonderful. Yes. <laughs> if you win all three, we'll send you. Uh, we'll, we'll send you a bonus prize. Oh, well. Chick McGee, McGee will deliver it personally to your door. Yeah. <laughs> Talk with you while See, I'll, look, this is I'll how, look forward to that. This is how people walk away from jobs. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> this is how it happens. Okay. Thanks so much, yeah. Alan. Thank you guys so much. I really all appreciate right, it. Bye, Alan. You're welcome. Thank Good you. Luck. Missourionian? What are you? Miz Missourians. Missourians? Right? I think. Missouma. Missourioni sounds like a <laughs> pasta. Yes. Who <laughs> from Chip Boyardee? Missourionis. Missourioni. <laughs> There's Willie Griswold. Show me flavor. <laughs> There's Morning. Tom Griswold. Hey, welcome back. And uh, Josh and I will uh, will uh, both uh, state, I think, that the Chef Boyardee ravioli is the best ravioli. You know what? It is. I had some the other day because you guys kept saying that. It's not the best. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you don't think so. There's more for Tom. All right. Yes. And I'm sure Fair that there's also you have to understand um, the Heisenberg principle, which is that you cooked it. <laughs> for God's sake, it's in Thank a you, can, Ace. man. Thank you, Ace. Oh, that's the first problem. You cooked it? No, no. You crack it open and eat it right out of the can. <laughs> you eat it hobo style? You can do that. <laughs> but you didn't I, like it in like the can. That. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. I do not do it. My brother Jeff always did it yeah, that first way. Hobo style. He grabbed the just can opener out of the, it out of the can? Oh, yeah. Just pop that can in the microwave. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> they do make the microwavable ravioli containers. You're right. right. Those came out when I was about 13, and that had a really big effect on my life. I was making ravioli in the micro a lot. Oh, yeah. not, not to mention on burned tongues everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can lids make good Frisbees? Do, do you know they? That? I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Never an injury. <laughs> Completely oh. off topic. Um, uh, coming up, we have a couple <laughs> things. I did want to remind you, I don't know if you knew this, tonight, if I'm not mistaken, it's a Biggs Bar in Sioux Falls. The 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 Donnie Baker show live. Oh my! All right, it's pronounced Sioux. Uh, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday, see, because tomorrow tomorrow starts the October thing. Tomorrow right? is October first. Wow. Yeah, the October thing. That's month. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. That would explain the pumpkin that I bought the other day. It's big day. My daughter's birthday. Yeah. Oh, uh, it is. Ava, Wait, yeah. Ava's? Big yep. Oh, well, October I'll to, 1st. I'll tip her a little extra on OnlyFans. Thanks. <laughs> She's 23, for those of you who are listening. Have you got, the, uh, have you got the uh, present all figured out? Yes. The last I heard, you hadn't gotten her any. Uh, yeah, Don, Donnie's going to be at the Eagles Lodge in Rochester, Minnesota, coming up on Saturday. Cool. Oh, that's very cool. Now, Love coming Rochester. up, the most obscure thing in the history of this show. But, oh. <sighs> Hello, Bob and Tom show. Hey, Bob and Tom. It's Donnie Baker. Oh, hey, Donnie. Hey, Donnie. I hate to go down a rabbit hole right off the bat, but do you ever stop and think it may be um, Chef Boy RDs and the Quaker Oats Dick are the same person but different heights? Oh, man. <laughs> I never thought of that. I've never seen him in the same room. Yeah. Oh. I swear to God, crisis actors. Look it up. Okay. Man, I'm <laughs> bummed today, but... Uh, What's wrong, I Johnny? Well, I lost some serious money playing cards last night, Christy. That's oh. why I come. Wow. <laughs> 
Yeah, a group of guys from work asked me to play. I'll probably tell you four, I hate playing cards. Really? Oh. The only card game I ever really understood was Crazy Eight. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> you probably can't even call it that no more. Oh, probably not. <laughs> I think now it's called like a mentally unstable age or something. Politically correct. <laughs> well, anyways, the biggest problem with poker is I don't know nothing about it. Yeah. Well, I mean, like most, everything I ever learned about poker, I learned from uh, Kenny Rogers. Mm -hmm. You know when to hold them and know when to fold them. Mm, that's right. Same thing goes for deflated sea caps. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> And after Patty Ferguson had her twins, it's like she's putting two pancakes in her push-up bra. Oh, oh, Patty, man. But anyways, Kenny, Kenny also taught us Ruby shouldn't take her love to town. That's right. right. He, <laughs> he sure did teach us that. And I know a dancer from Xanadu's named Ruby. Oh. And she'll take her love wherever you want for a hundred bucks. <laughs> no doubt. Half pancakes will try it. <laughs> So, anyways, we start this poker game. They asked me how many chips I want. And I said, just fill a paper plate with some sour cream and onion. It ain't hard. <laughs> but, spoiler alert, turns out they talk about poker chips. Uh -huh. Of course. And then they tell me it's time to ante up some money. Well, right away, I'm in the rears. I already brought a six pack of hams and a bag of flaming hot onions. Now they're asking for more money. <laughs> so, we start playing. And I don't know what the hell I'm doing. The first game, the guy Dylan says, deuces are wild. And the host is sitting next to me, and he says, you know what a deuce is? <laughs> I said, yeah, I just dropped a huge one in the tank in your upstairs bathroom. Oh. <laughs> I swear to God. Watch the entire show live or on demand at Bob and Tom.